You are a creation of light. You are connected to the quantum field. You have access to all the insight and information and inspiration in the world that serves you. But intuition follows what you love. It will serve what you love. It's not going to give you ideas, suggestions, or information in any area that would take you away from who you are naturally designed to be. So first tool is always breathe. Second tool, bouge. You can, if you don't want to move, ah, bouge, ah, bouge, bah. That means your spirit has left. And when you don't want to move and your spirit is gone, guess what? Other people's energy moves in and takes over. So you are hostage to this one and that one and this one and it's just a fight and you have no power. So when you are afraid or uninspired or you feel stuck, move. And for something even more powerful, take your keys. Prenez les clés. N'importe clé. Parce que ça veut dire au sous-conscient, liberté. Le, le clé, c'est la réponse, the, the answer. You take the keys and you walk. And better yet, you dance. Because tout de suite, l'esprit revient. And you snap your energy back. Intuition is not words. The first thing is the language of intuition is vibration. You feel it here and you move it here. Secondly, because your fear isn't controlling you and your energy's up and your spirit is in your body, then you can manifest and create easily. So easily that you barely think and it comes around. So pretty soon, you'll be able to attract things. When the heart's open and you're not fearful, you begin to radiate light. And when you radiate light, you have a beautiful vibration. And that vibration attracts similar vibration. And that's called synchronicity. That's when two energies start coming together. That's called synchronicity, but I like to call it magic. Because that's what it feels like. So your life becomes very magical, very charmed. And when that begins to happen, so often, it happens so fast, you start to feel abundant. Pretty soon, it's occurring that you have things happening that you didn't figure out that are very good for you. And doors opening that you really didn't ever expect to open. So then, life becomes inviting. And with that invitation, your confidence comes up and your generosity. So you're not afraid of everybody because you think they're gonna take something from you. You feel very enriched. So you become generous and you feel very, very willing to, to, to see people and give things to people and share with people so then other people begin to relax. And you are the healer because you begin to activate in them wonder. I wonder what she's doing, or I wonder what he's doing, and they feel so good. So then they ask you questions. How is it that you have such a good energy? And you say, it's simple. I trust my vibes. And they understand, and they go, hmm, maybe I should do that too. 
So one by one by one, we create these pools of light. And it's these pools of light that each one of us has the potential to become that is going to flip this world into a higher vibration. And that's what you've been invited here to do. It'll heal your life, but then more than that, you become the healer. You become the solution. You're not in the problem anymore. And so it is. And that's how it works. And on top of that, the veil thins and you become aware of all the help there is. All the incredible help there is in the divine realm, the subtle realms, your guardians, your joy guides, your angels, your ancestors, ascended masters. It's like pff, the Milky Way of inspiration. That's the natural plan. That's the way that we are designed to live in harmonious relationship with the universe instead of fearful defense against it. As you know, life's illusion And we choose how we fly Fear no more dark confusion Lift your eyes to the sky And we're not simply victims Who get lost in the fray We are travelers of light now At the speed of love today